Okay, here's how you hook up the power source, which is a um, power source here. We're just going to connect all these um, plugs into the L3 here. They push in and they snap. So there's nine plugs all together here. And so just one by one. Okay, plugged in now. Now we've um, hooked up our internet cable to this side here. We plug in our power to the power supply. And turn it on. And we'll see what happens. I was just going to show you how we have this setup here. Um, so we have a uh, these 220 volt outlets uh, that we have set up that can plug into these power buses here. This particular power bus, you know, has a different uh, prong setup. You just plug it in here, um, and this power bus, you know, actually it's this one connected to that wall over there. It going, it's going down to. Uh, uh, power supply to the 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 power supply so the first thing you want to do is get a soft IP scanner um, app. Here's an example of one where you can get it. It's at www.softperfect.com forward slash download forward slash files forward slash netscan underscore setup.exe and that will uh, give you the ability to download um, this app right here. Here it is when it's set up. And to run it, we would just hit start scan and it will scan all the um, machines on your network. But this is assuming that you already have your Bitcoin machine hooked up to your network. So you can see what you want to do is see the IP address. That's what we're after um, getting that. So, um, there it is right there for um, the little example I'm doing, 192.168.125. Um, you take that IP address and you plug it into um, a machine and there it is right there. I've already plugged it in. Usually when you log in, it will um, ask you for the default um, password of the machine. Um, if you don't know it, you can, you know, look at the manufacturer's, um, stats. Um, in this case, uh, I think the password and, um, admin was both root. Uh, but you can look at your ad, ad machine. And if you need to reset it, you would, there's a reset button on the machine. Little pinhole thing that you can do that to reset to manufacturer stand, standards. Here we, here we're going to go to, once... Once we're going to go to minor configuration, and then we can um, put in, you know, what URL we're mining to here in three different categories and what account, account they are.
and then you can also see the minor status here. Um, so, you know, looks like we're mining at a pretty good, at a good rate here. So that's it for the minor setup. In this video you learned how to set up Bitmain's Antminer L3+. Antminer L3 Plus is powered by minimum 800 watt power supply unit with 8TX PSU with at least 9 6 pin PC connectors and there are two PCIe connectors for plus 12 volts DC input on each hashing board and both need to be connected to the PSU for the hashing board to operate. There are total of 4 hashing boards that retire total of 8. Do not connect more than 1 PSU to the same hashing board. Even though Bitmain claims L3 plus hashes at 504 M hashes per second all my pool I connect says I am hashing at 380 M hashes per second. If you want to purchase actual Bitmain L3 plus you can buy online like eBay or Amazon or even Alibaba. Actual power usage is 800 watts at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Mining pool fees is 3.00%. I used Bitmain and pool actual fees. Bitmain's ant pool fees are 3% PPS. I tried mining with PPLNS, 0%. But I notice my mining income is little less than 3% PPS. So I switched mine to 3% PPS fees method. Minimum Litecoin payout is 0.001 LTC. You get automatic payment every day when your minimum payment threshold is met. Under setting tab and LTC click on corresponding edit link. You get to see Dogecoin wallet address. You have to specify Dogecoin wallet address or Antpool will not send you Dogecoin mining rewards. Antpool says if you do not specify they automatically assume you forfeit the Dogecoin rewards. You can specify Binance Dogecoin deposit wallet address. Finally, use site like ASICminerValue.com to find best performing ASIC machines to purchase. ASICs are designed based on primary cryptocurrency algorithm. Fash is Ethereum. Script for Litecoin and Dogecoin. You can by the way split mine Litecoin and Dogecoin from the same machine. Equihash miners primarily for Zcoin. SHA-256 algorithm is primarily designed for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Blake-256 are 14 machines for Decred mining. Remember higher the profit per day is very costly to get them. Remember, by the time you and I publicly get hold of those miners from manufacturers open sale, mining difficulty will skyrocket and your daily profitability drops. Daily profit is inversely proportional to difficulty. Comment below if you do not know how to get one in Binance. I will provide a link to Binance below. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Happy mining Dogecoin and Litecoin via your Antminer L3 Plus ASIC machine. If you need detail help on setting up Antminer L3 Plus or other Antminer ASICs let me know below in comments.